greetings, greetings. My unbelievable Bonanza V family all over the world. This is your chief, guys. Welcome to week 50. Welcome to my Wednesday message. I hope you guys enjoyed my Instagram live on a Sunday where I spoke about how do you resolve conflict, manage relationships, which I think is fundamentally the part of networking that a lot of people underestimate, which plays the most vital role in your journey to success. Yes, comp plan important, training, power of association, all of that. But ultimately, all right, what I learned from the great ones, Japa and Dato Sri Vijay, my uplines, the great founders, is that ultimately it's about the art of managing relationships. When you master that art, all right, you guys get from zero to hero like that, from nobody to somebody like that, from 250 a week to max out like that, all right? If you understand that what really matters is the strength of your relationships, whether it's two downlines, 10 leaders, 20,000 downlines, it doesn't matter. Just master the relationships. Uh, last Wednesday, I spoke about getting you guys to do some stuff before you get into 2020, all right? And this, you could call it part two. Because for some reason, everyone <clears throat> underestimates the importance of the last few weeks of the year. Everyone thinks it's just a normal, you know, go with the flow, Christmas, New Year, boom, New Year, we meet at ICE in Dubai, all right, and then da -da 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 -da, VCON 1, da -da 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 -da, uh, ISB Zone, da -da 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 -da, all right, VCON 2, da -da 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 -da, Zone, and then 2022 is finished. But guys, you need to understand something. 2022 is our defining year. It's your defining year. Whether you like it or not, whatever you have built over the last two years, ultimately what matters is what you do in 2022. So this week, week 50, QNet launched the most exciting, the most unbelievable bonanza, all right? For you guys, two weeks early, but week 50, 51, 52 regular, first week of 2022 regular. The reason is we wanted 50, 51, 52 and help you cross over to 2022 and maintain a momentum. However, there are a lot of things you need to do. Last week, I told you what to do. Clean the slate, focus on this and that and that. I don't even remember what I told you. All right. But this week, I got something very important to tell you. First thing that you have to focus on, there's never been a more important time for you guys to maximize and focus on power of association. And don't get me wrong. And even if you do, from the bottom of my heart, let me tell you before I start speaking more, I don't care, guys. I'm here to help you become financially free. I'm here to fulfill the vision of Dato Sri Vijay Ishwan. I will drag you kicking and screaming to become a better you, all right? And to, inshallah, max out one day, okay? So I'm going to tell you stuff which you may not want to do, but you have no choice. You still have to do it. So this is where you have to shut up, listen and do to your upline, all right? Your chief, representing the great ones, Japaras Bismarck and Dato Sri Vijay. And I remember how Dato Sri Vijay would never allow me even a moment, especially end of the year, to switch off, to be distracted, to have normality. And sometimes I used to get so irritated. I used to say, Ane, you know, Ane means big brother. I said, Ane, I worked so hard for 11 months and two weeks. Let me chill out. He said, listen, these two weeks will define next year. So I'm a bit, bit more generous than Datu Sri Vijay. I'm giving you three weeks. All right, to define 2022. Datosli was like boom, 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 all right? So the first thing, this is the most crucial point of maintaining the highest level of power of association of 2021. Bring your people together. Fly them freaking in if you have to, all right? Let the bonanza manage your network. This is when you need to 
bring people close to you. Sustain that energy. Sustain that mojo. You can travel, get on extra Zoom calls. All right? Adapt, adjust, accommodate. Have your chill out moments. Establish a stronger bridge. Build that relationship. Have your planning of the RTAT 2022. Now, don't wait until January when I do my first video of the year. And then you suddenly, okay, chief said, let's do TAT. No, morons. All right. Chief wants you to do the TAT for 2022 now so that you can plan which countries you're going to. All right. Where, which countries you're opening up. What's your expectation of this group on the left, that group on the right, the other group, your second TC cash out lake, your third TC cash out lake or your 001 cash out lake or the new country or the revival country or the country going through challenges which you never want to give up and, uh, on your people and you still want to build. All right. So power of association. It's so important. So the next three weeks, sing Kumbaya, hold hands. All right. But those just don't sing Kumbaya. Plan, inspire, motivate, push, wake them up, re-establish trespass, re-establish re the brotherhood, the sisterhood, the family, the community, the team, all right? Must do. Power of association is so crucial in the last three weeks. And the reason why this is important is because people naturally tend to switch off, whether you like it or not. Don't tell me, no, chief, my, lead, my, my leaders are warriors. They never switch off. Bull sugar. They all switch off. And the only way to stop them from switching off is keep them close to you and make sure you never switch off. Are you guys with me? As simple as that, okay? The next point to focus on is decide on your war cry. All right? You know, people don't, don't understand this, that we are dealing with humans. They have emotions. They have a mind. And they need to be activated. They need to be constantly engaged. They need to be kept alert and focused and never take their eyes off that financial freedom dream becoming a reality goal. Right? So now, after 11 months and one week of working their off, all right, okay, they... Are tired now don't don't misunderstand they're in front of you yes upline i will do anything for you yes upline freedom but inside like uh, uh, i've been doing this for 11 months one week man give me a break so just because their face is on just because their eyes are big like mine okay doesn't mean they're not tired doesn't mean they're not burning out so you need to do what Dato Sri Vijay does so magically. And I've watched him every single week, the past few weeks and the next three weeks. There's no holidays for Dato Sri Vijay. All right. That's why my respect for him as an upline is it's unconditional, guys. Right. He's more switched on than I am. Okay. Every time he calls me, he's like, boom, 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 do this, do that. All right. Unbelievable, guys. And what he does is he rejuvenates the people. All right. Because he knows that his team QNet, the V, Q lifestyle, these corporate warriors, all right, have worked very hard over the past 11 months, one year. And when January starts, there's no time to hold hands and sing Kumbaya. It's like, boom, ice, recon, this, that, promo, raise the Bahaya, open up new markets, all right? 2022, break records. So what he does in the last few weeks of 2021, he rejuvenates his warriors. Even your strongest warrior needs to be recharged from the source. And the source is you. Now, don't misunderstand. I'm not only talking to the old leaders. Even if you're a brand new guy who have been in the business for one week, you always need to rejuvenate your downlines. You need to re recharge them, you know. You need to re remind them of why they are here, what they are doing, the meaning of being in your team. Right, the substance of rhythm, of changing lives, of financial freedom, of doing this for their family, their kids, of changing their lives. This has to be said. This has to be shared, right, with your inner circle. So keep them close to you. Eat together. Stay together. Plan together. Decide your TAT for next year together. Realistically, which market, everything. All right. So power of association, stay very close to them. I spoke about that. 
And then you need the war cry. That means you need to announce. After re rejuvenating them and recharging them up, you need to announce with absolute certainty, with absolute confidence, with a voice of a warrior, what 2022 is about. And you need to create a mantra. You need to create a war cry for your team, for your organization. As simplistic as it sounds, this is about the basic human instinct to be wanting to fight for what they want, for what they believe in. To be able to protect your brothers and sisters, stand arm to arm, warrior mode and move into this year. But you need a war cry. And this war cry, you need to market it. You need to sell it. See, network marketing is not only about selling the great products of QNET. It's selling the concept, selling the vision of Datu Sri Vijay, selling your dreams, <clears throat> selling the advantage and benefit of being in your team. There must be an advantage. Or not, why do they sign up with you? So you need to announce something bombastic. The 2022 is the year of max out. 2022, largest number of earners with checks in our team. 2022, biggest market in the world must belong to us. 2022, largest number of gold ranks, sapphire ranks or platinum ranks compared to any other organization. You just have to announce from here a loud, powerful, bombastic statement of fact that will send vibrations of excitement throughout your organization. Even if you got two downlines, brother or sister, it's okay. It's still called an organization. All of us started with two. All of us started with two. And you need to push it. Right? And you need to really make this your war cry. Go to the printer shop. Make the t-shirts. Sit with your leaders all in the same t-shirt. Take pictures. Put on social media. Why? Because you have downlines all over the world. They can't come and touch and feel you and be part of your power of association. You have to reach them. You have to reach them by every means possible. Whether it's social media, video content, a t-shirt can inspire somebody somewhere out there. Are you guys with me? Right? So you need to announce that war cry for 2022. Right? You've got to tell your downlines. The 2022 is going to be the greatest year of your organization. And you've got to say it from here. Are you guys with me? All right. And then the final point before I end my Wednesday message is that in 2022, you need to remember one very important thing. And this is not about your team. This is about you. So the third point, I'm talking to you. My downlines, right? And you have downlines. And I want to remind you, and I don't mean to, to make you feel guilty or I just want to, I want you to remember this. And Dato Sri reminded me today, we have a lot of people who depend on us. Whether it's one downline, two downlines, three downlines, or 30,000, they depend on you. Now you, knowingly or unknowingly, made them promises in 2021. You told them that you will be there for them. You got to know their family, their kids. They came home, you went to their home. You build a bond beyond BVs, beyond weekly commissions. That means there is a level of trust. There is a level of expectation. There is a level of dependency on you. That's a big responsibility. And I told you, even if you signed up one person, you are responsible for that person. That means the minute you are responsible for one person, 10 people, 20 people, 20,000 people, 2,000, 200, doesn't matter. You lose the luxury of living a normal life. You have to keep your promises. You have to recognize the fact that there were strangers 
just before they signed up. And now they're your family. And you do whatever it takes to keep your promises to family, to protect the dreams of your family members. And remember the promises you made to them on stage, off stage, coffee shop, in your house, in their homes, to their parents, to their kids. Remember that as you go into 2022. This is not about you. This is not about me. This is about our downlines. What really matters today to me, to Japa, to the great one, Dato Sri Vijay, is not us. We've been around for 23 years. We have achieved more than we ever wanted to achieve, guys. Thanks to Japa and Dato Sri, I have achieved more than I ever wanted to achieve. I keep dreaming bigger and bigger. But you are the reason that I do what I do. You are the reason that we do what we do. And the same applies to your downlines. No matter what happened in 2021, don't forget your responsibility, your accountability. Don't forget the promises you have made to your family, your downlines. As you take them into a brand new year, which in their mind is full of uncertainties and they may be shrouded in fear, but you must be there for them as their upline, as their general, as their leader, to take them into 2022 with absolute confidence that as long as you are there, everything will be okay. As long as you are there, 2022 will be the most unbelievable journey ever. I want you to remember that. So you have no time to sing Kumbaya on Christmas Day. You have no time to switch off to take a break. You have too many lives, whether it's one or 100,000, doesn't matter. As long as others depend on us, we keep our promises. Now take them into 2022. All right? Remember this. Tighten your power of association. Rejuvenate your people. Transfer of energy. Give them absolute confidence, belief and trust and everything that next year is going to be a great year because it will be. And then sit down, plan with your leaders, create the most bombastic war cry and send a vibration of positivity in the next three weeks, maximizing the bonanza, raising the BBs, raising the checks, everything and making sure that they know that 2022 is brighter, more unbelievable, it's going to be more powerful. You're truly going to raise the bar higher compared to 2021. And finally, remember your responsibilities. Remember what I said right after ISB. Single blade of grass. Cannot move without his will. Love you guys.